Nash reached out to me and he had a question on the legend. He wanted to know if we put a nickel and a quarter within a quarter to a half of an inch of each other if the machine would report them as iron. So I'm going to go ahead and record that just so you guys can see it. There's a dug quarter uh, and a dug nickel. So. So not only does it not report it as iron, it correctly uh, identifies two art objects as well. So, of course, the target ID does look a little bit average, right? A quarter would typically be in the 50s, and a nickel would be around 25, and it's reporting around 28. So, um, that is what it is. So, at any rate, I'm going to do one more test here, uh, just to uh, maybe put this to rest. All right, folks, I went one step further here. I put the quarter and the nickel almost touching each other there literally less than an eighth of an inch apart from each other so i'm going to go ahead and retest on the legend and we'll determine does it target id them as iron does it see one target two targets let's see how it operates all right here we go Okay, there you have it. I'll let you draw your own conclusions on that one. So, all right, folks, what the heck? We're going to go for a stretch goal here. So I've got an assortment of different objects here, ranging from a nickel quarter, there's a wheat penny, there's a couple of silver dimes, and there is a trade token down there. So they're all spaced approximately one inch apart from each other. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up the legend, and we're going to see, uh, see what it does. All right, folks, here we go. Okay, draw your own conclusion from that.